finally yo we are out of 2020 going on to 2021 ah i gotta say dude 2020 has been a fucking trip that's for sure so many like famous and inspirational people have passed away so many like strategies you know and we got hit with one last one for the whole a at t thing and boy i'm happy to be starting a new year don't bring any of that bullshit over from 2020 over to 2021 please this is a whole new year we don't need that we still got the corona going on we don't need any more of that over there but you know what i gotta say y'all can go ahead and clip this one to your friends or you know anybody on your social medias because i got something to say for those of you guys have been trying me for the whole fucking 2020 i tried to be nice i honestly have but you know what i'm getting sick and tired of some of y'all so with this message all i gotta say is if you don't fuck with me you don't like me you can't stand me you got a problem with me. All four of those are the same. Remove me. Unfriend. Unfollow. <laughs> because I don't need any of that bullshit inside of 2021. I'm done with that. I'm good. Keep it back there in 2020. But for those of you who do fuck with me on my social medias, you know? What's up? How you doing? But if some of you guys who do fuck with me don't talk to me no more. Like, what? what's up? Like, we got beef? <laughs> like, we can easily box it out, you know what I'm saying? But no, seriously, if you if you do fuck with me, if we go all the way back in high school, like, say what's up, bro? I'm still the same person, just with a little bit more sauce to it, you know? I've changed over the years. Just add a little bit more flavor to it. Yeah, you acting like I'm a whole new person. <laughs> if we were friends in high school you know i still have no problem with you over here all the beef and all that crap is years ago i don't really give a fuck anymore it's like i've changed so much to where i just don't don't care about most things so just hit me up bro i'm here but all that out of the way though dude 2021 i made it a goal to just be as straightforward as possible fix my mentality i i was talking about it on twitter a little bit but it was a little bit more deeper than it needed to be but yeah mentally i haven't been like you know all there you know so i'm working on that you know change it up a little bit you know getting myself back into like my old <laughs> confident positivity self i'm still confident i don't really give a fuck about anything you guys just heard but mentality wise you know i i like to have fun but you know just pretending that i'm always having fun is not the, the flow i want to just throw out there you know <laughs> even though when it, it's not just like I think people when they read that twitter they're just gonna think that you know oh no he's gonna start raging at video games he's gonna start no no i i still don't care <laughs> even if i lose i still don't care <laughs> it, it's more of like actual real life stuff i already lost like a friendship because of some stupid shit that we went to so that's what was the cause of the twitter post who was because you know we got to a certain point where my niceness just snapped and i told him exactly how i feel and that is sad sort of ended right there <laughs> so yeah that's why i keep my honest self locked inside just because it can cause issues especially when you know the truth hurts and i'm gonna start letting the truth hurt <laughs> i don't give a fuck really <laughs> but listen it is what it is people come people go you have fights you have issues you know i still wish him the best you know I, I don't have a problem with him just told him the truth he didn't like it getting accepted is what it is 
but hoping that 2021 will come with better things already starting off rocky with the whole stimulus crap and mitchell ruining everything but i'm just hoping somebody's things don't go downhill because twitch is also supposed to be changing as well with the whole you can't say this you can't bully this person you know especially when you're you know when your viewers are sort of like your friends you mess with each other a lot like me and shadow we we bicker back and forth we make fun of each other none of us take it seriously you know <laughs> but it, when it comes from twitch's perspective they might think of something else when they're listening to us you know just mess with each other but that's the thing i'm kind of worried about really <laughs> is how they're going to take the context of it. So I'm worried about Twitch right now. <laughs> you know, it, it's... Yeah, oh boy. It's going to be a fun one. But if anything, I've started to stream more on Twitch than I have been uploading videos. It's just been a lot more fun. And plus, no, I haven't really been playing Genshin since the whole hacking issues went on. So I kind of like evolved more back into my older MMOs a little bit. <laughs> And when I mean older, I mean I'm playing Grand Fantasia again, <laughs> and I'm trying out other new, well, older MMOs again. I'm just on my MMO bullshit right now. <laughs> no, I like Genshin, I really do. It's just that, you know, after the whole hacking things, I, I sort of, I sort of like gone into this mental state of just older MMOs, you know, just vibing with those right now. Like, it's not gonna say I'm not playing Genshin anymore. It's just that I'm taking a chill from it. And I know I've been quitting like playthroughs, you know, halfway through. It's mostly just me testing out things I want to do. If it feels right, if it feels wrong. Because sometimes, you know, when you upload something, you're just like, ah, I'm not really vibing with the game or I'm not really vibing with, you know, the content that I'm trying to do or want to do. And it's kind of like, it just after a while, it just throws you off and you want to try something else, you know? Ever since the whole hacking thing, I went into like this mental state of just what do I do now? Just because it, it didn't feel right because I was like off from YouTube for like so long to the point where it was just confusing to me. I come back and, you know, I just don't feel right. You know, I thought about just coming back whenever I felt like it, but I immediately came back just just because. <laughs> And I'm, I'm not sure if I'm regretting that right now or if I'm just like, just, I'm just trying to find something I want to do and something I want to make content on, something I'm just having fun with. Right now on Twitch, I'm enjoying Grand Fantasia and might be enjoying other MMOs at that too. But I'm also enjoying a few mobile games as well. You guys still know Dragon Blaze and the alchemist code stuff like that and you know going back and forth between that is it's fun it is like i'm just gonna be doing things that i enjoy not just because it makes other people happy because if i do something i don't enjoy it's going to get on my nerves and i'm going to hate it <laughs> and i don't want to hate it you know so i sort of just cut off before it even goes to that you know point with that being coming all the way back to me just finding like some type of content i just want to make i'm just trying out a few things and once i find that i'm going to stick with it for a while <laughs> until i get bored of it just because my insanity <laughs> but i'm going in with 2021 with more of a mentality of just play what you want enjoy yourself don't be too worried about what other people think of the content or videos you're making. If you get dislikes, you just get dislikes. It's, there's no really real problem with that, actually. Some of you guys be flipping out about dislikes, but dislikes actually boost your videos as much as likes and much as comments. Those three things boost your video, increase your views. And as your views increase, that video increases. So stop looking at dislikes as a bad thing. Stop looking at likes as the ultimate thing. Just think about comments, likes, and dislikes because those are interactions. Interactions are 
boosting you in the YouTube ad uh, algorithm. <laughs> Words. <laughs> but that's what the mentality I'm going in with. And that's what others should, you know, take a little bit of slice of that and start adding to theirs too. Just a little bit. Don't be taking the whole thing, okay? Ooh, I only got a little bit of cake for everybody. You can't be taking the whole thing, all right? <laughs> Calm down. But with that said, I'm going to be doing a lot more things on YouTube coming 2021. I'm going to try and upload every single day. I've been actually uploading one video to my second channel, one video to my... Well, one video to my second channel. Then the next day I upload to this channel. Then that... Next time, then that channel, this channel, then that. It, you, you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying to do that, but I'm trying to figure out am I like overwhelming myself? Because, you know, when I get back from work, I want to sleep. And sometimes that sleep lasts too long to the point where my streaming schedule comes up and I have work the next day. Then it's kind of like, do I stream? Do I play? The, it, it becomes overwhelming a little bit. People think YouTube is easy, you know, you're just talking in front of a camera, but you gotta think about it. People think way too much about how people feel about them, which is terrible on the mental state, for sure. People think way too much of, is this video perfect? Is that video something I wanna upload? You gotta make the right things, the right choices, decisions, like everything. YouTube isn't easy, you go for it, you, you try it. You, you see how easily you gain up there. It's not, it's not easy. I say, like, even if you did get up there with a viral video, you know, it, so what? It's only going to be a long road from there because you got to keep them interested. If you don't keep them interested, they start leaving. They start disliking your content and you know, you can't keep them there. For me, I'm not worried about how many subs I got anymore. That, that's the, that's the mentality you earn after like, doing this for six years you know but doing this for six years it's kind of like mental state has changed so much from youtube to where just don't worry about it all enjoy yourself create memories and just upload that's all it is just enjoy what you do because if you're not enjoying what you do then it's just not even worth it really most of you guys think of this as trying to get a career it's if you're not enjoying yourself on this little career path you're going as an entertainer, it's going to be a hard road for you. And it's going to be more straining and stressful than you actually think it would be. So go in with it, not to, you know, earn something out of it or job or anything. Go into it having fun and just, you know, creating it as a hobby. You go in at full force. It's gonna turn out bad for you. <laughs> I've, I've learned that full, like full on. Don't don't do that. Trust me, you, you will regret it. With that said, I, I would have more to say, but it's time for me to start streaming. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Hopefully, hopefully we have another conversation like this someday between my videos. You know, hey, if you want to follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv, Wolf knows no bounds, you know? Look me up. Well, that's it. Peace out.